and I want to walk you guys through uh, through kind of like a, a, a 101, an intro to Fundy software. And this is really important to you because sometimes I, I hear from photographers that the process of in-person sales, the process of selling printed artwork is um, it's a kind of daunting when we when we think about it when we hear about other people doing it the software can have a little bit of a learning curve and so I want to break down that learning curve and walk you through uh, pretty much all the fundy software in terms of what we're using it for um, how we're using it both in terms of increasing our print sales we average about 3,500 just with weddings we're not in portraiture we're just shooting weddings so how we're averaging 3,500 we'll touch on some of the sales capability as well as the as well as the design Okay, hey everybody, uh, my name is Ben Hartley. I host the Six Figure Photography Podcast. I've got this amazing mastermind uh, group on Facebook, Six Figure Photography Mastermind. And I wanna walk you guys through uh, through kind of like a, a, a 101, an intro to Fundy software. And this is really important to you because sometimes I, I hear from photographers that the process of in-person sales, the process of selling Printed artwork is, um, it's a kind of daunting when we when we think about it, when we hear about other people doing it. The software can have a little bit of a learning curve, and so I want to break down that learning curve and walk you through uh, pretty much all of Fundy software in terms of what we're using it for, um, how we're using it, both in terms of increasing our print sales. We average about 3,500 just with weddings. We're not in portraiture. We're just shooting weddings. So how we're averaging 3,500, we'll touch on some of the sales capability as well as the, as well as the design, but then also how we're using it for marketing materials for, um, for like for product cards and for, um, like for our promise process product guide, your, your like magazine, your studio magazine. And so, um, I'm going to share my screen right now and we're going to, we're going to get into the software. So for starters, this is what funny looks like when you first open it up and there's a number of options that you have have at the top right here, depending on what you want to design. So right here, this is going to be for albums or studio magazines. Uh, over here next to that one is going to be for any type of like wall art, galleries, canvases, frame pieces, non-frame pieces, that kind of stuff. Uh, right next to that, this is going to be getting into the card designer, which you can use for both um, productized cards, like thank you cards, um, invitations, that kind of stuff. But you can also use these cards as marketing materials. And I'll show you that in a little bit in terms of maybe you want to create little five by sevens that you hand out to every single one of your clients and maybe a welcome guide uh, that speak to the value of printed product or maybe even begin to position specific types of printed product in your client's minds um, as, as kind of like big wins. Next to that, we are going to uh, get into a collage Maker. If you're going to be making any any type of wall art that's going to be a essentially like a singular, let's take a canvas for example, a singular canvas, but having collage pieces as a part of that. And then lastly after that is going to be the image brander. So I'm going to take you through, uh, I'll start with albums and, uh, and, and we'll kind of go from there. So let me click on albums here. Inside album, I'm going to click new album. Now, Miller's is my preferred lab there, my favorite lab. And so I've gone ahead and I have them marked as a favorite. Now, if I turn off my filter here, you're going to see every lab like known to man, like, like every single lab ever. There's, there's countless of them. But I'm just going to keep my filter on and I'm going to choose Miller's because they're my preferred lab. I'm going to click next. And the cool thing is with Fundy, no matter what your lab is, they're going to have all of your lab settings built in. So these are all of Miller's types of albums. Now, uh, if you noticed, I have hearted their signature album, thick pages. These are my favorite albums that they do. So I'm going to click next after that. Now again, Fundy's going to have all the sizing built out right there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and, and let's just choose a, let's, let's go like a 12 by 12. We'll do a 12 by 12 album. And then I now also have all of the cover options that, that Miller's would have available to me. For the sake of this, I'm just gonna do a basic cover, which is gonna essentially show that these this kind of hatching here represents the material. So that's gonna be a full leather or a full linen album. Okay, so I'll click next. Uh, now I'm gonna name it. And so I'm gonna name it uh, Six Figure Photography Mastermind album. That's my mastermind group. I spelled all that right. 
Okay, good. Something like that. Okay, good. So I'm going to click create album. Okay, sweet. So I'm now inside of Fundy software. Before I, I get too far even within here, let me take you on a continual tour of kind of like the the space that that we're looking at right now. Like, what is this? So, so this is going to be our kind of our main design area here where we're going to have our album spreads that are going to keep adding on. And we'll, we'll show you those here in just a little bit here. Down here is where we have all of our pictures imported. I've already gone ahead and I've imported some, but I'm going to change my filter. So another cool thing is uh, I've got a filter setting right here. And so these are all portfolio images. Well, uh, I actually would really like to prefer to see my portraits. And so I'm gonna click on my family portraiture. There's 73 pictures here. So these are all the pictures that I'm gonna be using in this album. This will go ahead and be like a family album. This is my family actually. So here, here let, me, uh, let me pull these up. This is my crew right here. This is myself, Leslie, our boy Alex, our other boy Colton, and our daughter B. So this is my crew. While I'm in this window, might as well go ahead and show you what we got here. So right inside of this window, there's a few other neat things that, that we'll explore here. Um, number one is I could choose to view all my pictures kind of in another way. Um, but, but this is kind of the main one that I use, and this is going to allow me to do things like skin retouch. Well, I'll show you how we skin retouch later. We're going to get into how we can create orders and invoices. So I can actually click this view order button. And as I'm adding on pages to my album, or maybe I'm adding on quantities of thank you cards, it can auto calculate that and create an invoice right here that I can export out as a printable PDF. And so that's another little, uh, a great little option there. There's also some tagging features, which you've already seen me do in regards to um, choosing to tag these as family portraiture. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just close that one uh, right there. Let me see what else I should probably show you guys before I keep going, maybe like slideshows. So there's another great little section up here called the slideshow button where I can click it and I can create a slideshow. I'll get into the juiciness of this later, but I just wanna kind of tease of all the options right now. And so this is where I would build out my slideshows. We'll show you that in more detail as I go. Um, let's see here. I've shown you that design window. Yeah. I mean, I think I've shown you just about everything. So at this point, let's bring in a few more pictures. I'm going to keep this again, super basic. So, uh, I brought in already a number of my family pictures down here. Let me show you how to bring in some more for starters. I could click up here on images and I could choose to, uh, add images to project. That's boring. I don't want to do that that way. I don't like going up to file windows up there. So instead, all I'm going to do is, uh, and you can't see this right now, but I'm just in like a finder window and I'm just going to drag. I've, I've grabbed like 20 pictures. I'm going to drag and I've got them right here and I'm going to hover over top of this and I'm just going to release it. And this is going to end up bringing in, I think there's maybe like 23 more pictures right here. So yeah, you see it right there. All I did was drag and drop. I just hovered right over top of the middle and it's importing in these full res images. I probably should have downsized these images <laughs> for the sake of keeping this really, uh, really efficient, ah, but such is life. Okay, good. So, uh, so I've got those new pictures brought in right there. So that's one of the first things just to show you guys how to do is how to import uh, the photographs. Now, um, let's see here. Maybe I should show you guys, seeing as this is like portraiture, how to retouch uh, the photographs. Like how I could like get in there and batch retouch them. Now, um, yeah, because like uh, maybe I'll go ahead and I'm gonna filter our pictures. Maybe not even off a of family. I'm just gonna go no filters here. Let's turn off all my filters. Bloop. Okay, cool. So I just brought in some new ones. These are some portfolio pictures I'm gonna use a little bit later in my little demo here. But I brought in some pictures of Leslie and I kind of being all sweet together and stuff. Here, let's take a look at these these pictures right here. All right. So I've got a set right here of, of a number of them from here to here, right? So let's go ahead and open these up. And when I double click on the picture, it's gonna open it up into like this, uh, this secondary window right here. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click down here on edit. 
And this is awesome. So obviously I've already edited this photograph. By the way, Ben Adams took these pictures. Um, and so they've already been edited, but now with perfectly clear, there's built in additional retouching. And so there's a ton of options to your preference. My favorite option is full coverage. And so I'm gonna click on full coverage. All right, when I click on full coverage, it, it already did some cool things. And I'm gonna clear it just so you can see, stare at our beautiful little faces here. And then I'm gonna click full coverage again. And you're gonna notice it just really brightens up our skin, it clears things up. Now, if that's too much for you, all good. Uh, one of the things that tends to get too much is skin smoothing. And so you'll notice by default, it's already reduced a little bit. It's not zeroed out, it's actually a little negative. But if, you're, if you feel like it's still a little too much, you could drag that skin smoothing down. Now maybe you feel like, man, I love to see our eyes just a little bit more enhanced. I could individually drag that up a touch. Or maybe I feel like this exposure is a little dark. I'm not saying it is, but let's say hypothetically it is. If so, I could go ahead and grab that and I could drag that up and it's gonna lift that exposure, okay? So this is some quick skin retouching that I could do right here inside the software, but it gets even cooler because I have one, two, three, four, five, six other images that are kind of like the same of Leslie and myself. I'm just gonna click shift, click, and I'm gonna drag and grab all of those essentially, shift, click, and I'm just gonna click the sync button. I'm gonna click sync, and I'm gonna let Fundy go ahead and just do that skin retouching across the board to all of them. And so now these are all, oopsies, these are all skin retouched accordingly just like that. Now I could have done that across the entire gallery all right, of images. So it's really, really sweet to actually be able to batch retouch these photographs. Damn, we are cute. Liz, the, the blue, man, what a, she is stunning. She whiz, look at these, Ben Adams, knocking it out of the park with these. Look at my little purse smile, what a doof. Okay, so <laughs> this is really weird when you're editing or like showing this off of pictures of yourself. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys that, uh, that you can do with the batch skin retouching. Okay, let, let's get into actually designing the album itself, okay? So I'm gonna close out the secondary window, and there's a few things that we could do to design this album, all right? Um, let's go ahead, and I think what I wanna do before I go any further, maybe I'll show you guys this real quick too. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tag those images of Leslie and I, because we just imported them. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tag them as uh, more of our family portraiture photographs. So I'm gonna grab them all. Um, I, didn't cliff, I didn't click shift. Uh, I'm gonna go to the tag, oopsies here, tag options. Instead of wedding, I'm gonna to go to portrait and I'm gonna tag those as family, okay? So now they're got tagged all as family just by me going to these tag options, okay? So I'll go and I'll click filter and I'll go down here to the portraiture and family. So now all we're gonna see is our family pictures. That way we don't get too confused with all my portfolio stuff popping up. So I now I'm showing 96 of 141 images. The other, the other set of, I don't know, 45 or so pictures are all portfolio. So I sell this because there's a few different ways I could design an album. One is I could click, I could shift click and I could just drag up and it's gonna start designing a book and I could go to the next section here and I could shift click and I could drag those in there and I could grab these, I could shift click and say, I don't know, maybe those go together. That's one way and it's gonna do a pretty good job but there's a lot of me shift clicking, shift clicking, all that kind of stuff. Instead, I'm gonna click this little auto design button, okay? So this auto design button is gonna create a whole album for me. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is, instead of the total images of 141, uh, I'm gonna choose design an album, okay? Album, choose your sure, sure, three to aspect ratio is fine. Instead of the entire collection, I'm gonna choose the filtered images. That means the total images are 96. I only want it to use my, my family pictures. Sure, uh, order file name, we'll just go by capture date. Oops, what did I just do? I clicked off of it. Uh, we'll go by capture date, filtered images, okay, good. Pages to design, uh, let's see what would happen if we designed 30 pages, and it'll tell us, if we design 30 pages, there's gonna be an average of 6.4 images a spread. Uh, it feels like a little much. Let's go with 50 pages. It'll be 3.84. Sure, let's just go with that. Um, I can get more specific with minimum pages of spread or max, um, but I'm just gonna click this design button. It's gonna give me a warning because I've already designed spreads here saying, hey, it's gonna clear this out all good. I'll click okay. And then in a matter of moments, boom, I now have a full album, okay? Designed out 
just like that. Now, this is what I like to call starting with the broom. And then what we're going to do is we are going to finish with the needle. Okay. Now it looks like Ben Adams was shooting on two cameras. <laughs> and the way I know that, and it looks like they weren't time synced is because there's sprinkled in here, different photographs for different times. So I may click on auto design instead of capture date. I'm going to click on file name and we're going to see what that does. So I'm going to click design and we'll click OK, and that is going to do it. Notice already how it collectively put the images that are together in kind of like the same spots, right? Um, so at the end, we're going to see the pictures of Leslie and I together just like that, okay? So this is really awesome. Now we've got an album that's like, at least it's started. It started in the design process, okay? Now I'm gonna show you something else that's really cool. If I double click on one of these spreads, all right, um, I'm gonna turn off these guides. There's a couple of neat things I could do. One is this is a separate window right here. Uh, all right, let me see here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, actually it's not yet, let me click here. Okay, now this is the separate window. That's what I wanted to show you. So this window right here, I could drag to a second monitor. I just want to show, this is really powerful stuff. So I could take this one here and have it be on a separate monitor. Meanwhile, this one over here is the one that I'm viewing things like, uh, let, me, let me move this over so you can see it. Maybe this is one where I'm doing things like layout and I'm choosing all types of uh, uh, different like design layouts, okay? But the client doesn't see that. They just see this secondary window. So I can have this one that's giving me all the magic, right? All the magic in, in my design sets, uh, in my various uh, album layouts, all that stuff. But they don't see it because it's, it's on my window. All they see is when I click on like, let's say this button, boom, this one changed over here. So it allows you to be the magician on one window, have this be on a second monitor. And that monitor could be something that you're projecting on a screen. That monitor could be something that you're uh, broadcasting over to a TV. Uh, it could be a secondary monitor for, for directly on your laptop or whatever. Um, but I just think it's so cool that you can look like the pro. So I'm going to close out that second window just for the sake of keeping things kind of in one spot right here. Let me go ahead and I'm going to minimize my mug down here because you guys don't need to see me that much. We need to see more of the fundy tools. And hopefully that wasn't blocking things too much previously. But such is life. All right. So um, now that we uh, can see all these things, there's a couple quick little tools I want to show you guys. One is if you if you press tab, it reduces all kind of the other clutter around here. Uh, same thing as when I go into this window and I see everything for the client. If I just press tab, it's going to remove it all and minimize it. Uh, and that can be a helpful thing if you don't want to do the whole second window thing, but you just want to keep editing right in here. Um, all right. So let me show you guys some cool drag and drop zone features. For starters, uh, see how this photograph looks like it should probably be over here in this picture of my boy it should not probably be there. I can literally click this image right from there, hover over top of that, release it, and we're in there. Now I can zoom in on this uh, and I could say, you know what? This feels redundant. I'm going to delete that. When I delete it, the album is going to automatically uh, a change. It's going to adjust. Maybe this one too. You know what? This one, uh, we don't need that either. Boom. The album's going to automatically adjust. What if we say something like, you know what? Let's go into the layouts and see what other options. Ooh, I like this full bleed option. That's sweet. Now, maybe we like this full bleed option, but we're like, wouldn't it be great? I'm just saying hypothetically, if this was instead of cutting right on my boy's face here, this is the, the, bleed, the uh, fold of the album. What if this went right to there? Boom. I can do it all right here and I can adjust that within there. I can move that up or down. You know what? Let's switch these two. Yeah, maybe it's maybe it's that, okay? But you know what? What if I decide, ah, I don't know. That, like that's cool and all, but I think I do actually miss this photograph. Uh, I could take this picture and I could drop it right back in. Maybe I want to put it here, okay? but I don't like how it did that. And so I'm going to adjust these things. So there's so much, you guys see the degree of, of it's this combination of customization, right? Uh, with, 
um, still kind of like giving you the almost like the best idea of what like it uh like a really good design i don't know how else to say it. it's like it you get to fully customize it like you're in indesign however it's also going to just create designs for you like i i, I don't know how else to say that like man this could maybe this is it or maybe it's that and i kind of slide you know this picture over like this and i want to slide that one down and you know what maybe i do want to add in another picture like that you know maybe that's what i want to do Maybe I want to do that. Like there's this, it's just so wild, you guys, what you can pull off inside of this software. So that's briefly what it would look like to actually go through and just design out these spreads. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at these. Maybe I'll click on the layouts and see, is there something else that I'm responding to uh, a little bit more? Um, you know, maybe, maybe it's this, maybe I really like having one kind of key image here. And then there's two flagged off images on the side. I can just click the next spread and it's going to do this. Well, these are kind of disconnected ideas. And so, um, I'll just go ahead and I'm going to delete that one, delete that one. Let me hop into the layouts and see what we got here. You know what? There's a whole lot of redundancy here in general. I'm going to say that my favorite are those two right there. Um, but I could see this one being more just like a detail and have this one really take, you know, take the cake. So um, is that clear? Does that make sense how you can uh, design an album? Now, what I could do from here is um, maybe I now want to do some wall art. All right. So let's say that I've got this album all good to go and I'm going to show it to a client. Maybe I'm going to order an album from Miller's. Um, but now I also want to show the client some wall art. So I'm going to click on this wall art button right up here and I'm going to go new gallery. Same thing as with the albums. I get to choose, uh, what, what um, print lab is going to be my preference. I'm going to go with Miller's once again. Okay. Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and call this, uh, Hartley, Hartley. Come on. I can spell my name. Hartley. Uh, SFP six figure photography wall. Sure. And I'll click finish. Now, uh, I'll probably be a little bit more brief here with the wall art. Um, but now inside of this gallery, once again, I'm going to filter out and I'm just going to go ahead and choose to view my family portraiture. Okay. And within this gallery here, we now are seeing a room. We are seeing a bedroom. Well, Actually, it's a living room. Uh, what if we're designing something not for a living room? Well, I can click on this little room button down here. And this is where I could see a whole bunch of templated rooms, right? So maybe a space that like, maybe it's someone's apartment. Maybe they've got like a small space. And so I'm going to design for a client who tells me, how many of you guys have heard this, this kind of objection? Well, I don't have enough space. And I'm thinking, well, their home probably looks like this. Well, there's space right here. They just don't realize it. And what if we were to design something within that space? Uh, maybe they're doing something for a nursery, uh, or a dining room table, or maybe Maybe they have their own space. Now, the, there's I won't get into this too much, but this is actually um, let me pull up. Uh, this is this is my space right here. So this is like part of uh, this is my home. So I took this photograph and I was wanting to to replace these images. We just put in a new TV here and it changed the sizing of stuff. We used to have a big kind of system here. And so now I feel like these need to get much larger. We need to fill this space in. So I took a photograph of my own home and I clicked on a little import button right here and I was able to import this image. Uh, and I can now design based off of your client's home or off my own home exactly to scale, right? Now, for the sake of this, uh, we'll go ahead and I'll just choose uh, maybe a space. Yeah, okay, I don't know. I kind of like that. That's cool. We'll go with this. We'll go with this wall. So once I've got my space, I'm just going to go ahead and I'll click back on my photographs. Up here, this is where I get to choose the product. Now, I already chose Miller's as my lab. And so it's going gonna, it's gonna to tell me what Miller's offers me as products. Depending on the lab you choose, will depend on the options that you have here okay and so um, we'll go ahead and I'll click maybe framed prints okay so I'm gonna do some framed prints and uh, just for the sake of it let's grab maybe this picture this picture this picture maybe I'll do like a three image collage I'm gonna drag them up onto my wall okay 
Now, when I drag them on my wall, we're going to see the sizing. It's a 30 by 20, it's a 12 by 8, and a 12 by 8. Now, if I don't want to see that size, I can click S and my size goes off. Maybe I don't want those numbers confusing my client or, or having them think too much about math. If I want to click S again, I can see it. Uh, now, uh, just like before, I could grab these. I could I could actually literally just start to scale like this project uh, out. Looks like maybe, there we go. I could scale it out to some different things. Well, I'm just going to click on layouts. And this is going to give you some great ideas of standard layouts that could work with this type of, of art. So maybe I'll choose something like this. That's pretty sweet. All right. Now, remember, these are framed prints. Okay. So what I need to do is uh, I need to assign a mat to them and I need to assign a frame. So I'm going to go ahead and say, let's give them a one inch mat and I'm going to click on this frame button down here. We're going to go with a super modern black frame. Okay. I'd like that mat to be bigger as I look at that. So now let's do something like this. All right. So now we have this wall art right here in the home. That's nice. I can grab the whole thing, kind of slide it over. That'd be great. Now, if you feel like this white isn't matching the white, it's like too stark. Sometimes I'll click here for the matte color and I'll just grab my dropper and I'll choose something that feels like it's probably the actual white in the uh, kind of in the room. You know what I mean? Like maybe maybe this is like something like that feels like it would fit the space a little bit better because these walls are maybe they're white maybe they're not exactly white but sometimes the the stark complete pure white is just a little much all right maybe there's one other option i could see like a, some nice like light tones way back there that's a little too or even you know even if you wanted to you could just grab this and just um choose choose just like not a purely stark oh man you guys can't see it P choose like not a purely stark white yeah cool something like that that works okay sweet so i've got some albums i'm sorry i got some wall art now up here to sell so now i've got a combination of i've got i've designed an album earlier i've got some wall art here now um and if i wanted to add another uh uh wall i could just click uh next here and I could just drag in another section section of images right um, I could just create a new one if I wanted to I like this one as it is okay now let's see here what else should I show you guys um, let's get into ooh one more thing I have not shown you this is this is be kind of important is remember the designs that we we had so if i click on layouts here i have some standard layouts okay well there's also this really great thing inside of undy called the design library and inside the design library i can click that and i can open up the design library where i could choose additional design sets for maybe more specifically these design sets work really well for family wall art maybe these are designs that sell maybe these work really well for baby wall art this one says miller's collage wall miller's office a collage wall that i could choose uh here is the design to glow grab and go galleries so i could choose these options and um uh, let's see here, Steve Zapparito, Mark Rosetto, I'm not sure who that is. Maybe it says Mark, I don't know. Um, and so, yeah, let's click and see what happens if I choose the Miller's Design Wall. So it went ahead and it says Installed. So when I click Close here, uh, what'll happen is under my layouts, let's see here. All right, Collections is where it's gonna show me the new one I just installed. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the grab and go galleries. All right, so here's all these grab and go galleries. And it looks like my mat is far too big for these grab and go galleries to work. It needs to be a one inch mat. But now I have this awesome design right here that I just pulled right inside of Fundy uh, in the design library. And I can just drag in my photographs that I'd want to be represented in it. Uh, I'm not saying these are the pictures that I would actually do. I'm just grabbing stuff to show you guys. Boom, I could just populate them right inside here. Now, if you feel like, man, I wanna see what that looks like that's so far away, all good. Just click on this little eye and it's gonna go ahead and zoom in on the space so you can see exactly what the photographs look like in, in, that, in that space, all right? 
uh, cool, I'll, I'll uncheck that I. Okay, makes sense? Uh, that and that is true as well. If I go back here to my um, to my album and I go into this spread and I click on layouts, same thing is true. So I've got the standard album layouts, but I also have my design library and I could click on this and I can now go over to albums and magazines right here. Maybe I want to choose uh, some, I want to see some default wedding magazines. What are some other people's wedding magazines? So he's got wedding album five, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've got all these different wedding albums that have these pre-designed uh, layouts to them that maybe I'll get inspired by and I want to use exactly those. So that's what's awesome about the design library. All right, now I want to show you guys slideshow because at this point I've got albums and I've or I have an album and I have um, a uh, some wall art. So now I'm going to show you how to make a slideshow off of this stuff. Ooh, maybe you know what? I'll do a thank you card and then I'll do a slideshow with that too. So the last thing I'm going to go to this thank you card. I'm going to click new card. Um, and so you may have something in mind for your cards, right? You maybe you like five by sevens, four by sixes, all that stuff's uh, right here. I'm a big fan of just a good old four by six card. Uh, these are recent sizes that I've done. So I like four, four by six cards. Uh, maybe I like a horizontal one. You could do it with a fold, right? Like that. We're just going to go with this, just a flat card. This is going to arrive in the mail. It's just going to be a little thank you card that we're going to do, and it'll be horizontal. And so I will go ahead and click. I'll call this Ben Hartley. Thank you. Sure. Okay, good. Save changes, and it's going to open it up. We we have these various card options right here. So we have some default ones, graduation cards, save the date cards. Here's some thank you cards right here, baby wall art, um, baby announcements. So uh, you could choose to filter the designs just by like thank you cards. So I've got these two uh, thank you card options right here. Um, and, then, and then again, I've got the design library. So I could go into cards and I could choose to just view the design library thank you cards. So maybe now, you know what one I think is pretty sweet? Maybe I want another horizontal one. I don't like these verticals. Look at this. He's got some pretty little frou-frou thingies. So I just installed it. So it's going to show up right here. So I've got this thank you card. So it says, you're so kind. It has these graphical elements. Thank you from the Smith family. That's so wonderful. I'm gonna filter again my images. I'm gonna just have my family portraiture. And uh, let me go find a picture, a nice horizontal image. That would be that would be kind of fun for that. Maybe it'll be, maybe this picture this is one of my favorites, right? <laughs> Yours, look at this, you're so kind. Thank you from, and I'm gonna go in here and change the Smith's family from the Hartley. J-O-T-L-E-Y, from the Hartley family. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, that works, something like that. And maybe I don't like that it's overlapping the image right there because it's kind of hard to read. And so I'm just going to go ahead and pull it down here. I'll drag it a little bit lower. Yeah, something like that. Maybe I'll just do that. Thank you from the Hartley family. I just made a thank you card, you guys. And again, all these things are, are customized. So like uh, the, these, this little frame stuff, I can move that around if I wanted to. If I click on this picture here itself, um, I can also uh, zoom in on that photograph. Let me do a little skin retouching. We'll do full coverage on us. We'll pull up the exposure and I'll reduce the skin smoothing. That's fine. So now you will see those changes reflected in the actual card itself. Okay, so cool. Now I've got an album, I have wall art, and I have a thank you card, okay? Let's click on slideshow, and we're gonna click create slideshow, all right? We're gonna bring it all together here. So first off, one thing I can do is I could start by, um, cancel that out, I could choose to add different things. So I could choose an image slide, album slide, wall art slide, card slide, studio logo. So I could click studio logo and you'll notice I already have my logo imported up here at the top, okay? I'm gonna archive that or delete that. So I've got my, so I'm gonna start that out of the slideshow out. This is like a timetable. So it's gonna start at the top and just work its way down. So I'm gonna open it up with my logo. Then I'm gonna open up with a text and maybe the text is the Hartley family. I'm gonna do all caps on Hartley. 
and I'm going to do, I could choose my typeface for that Gotham light. That's great. Okay. The Hartley family. Now I could choose, let me just delete all of this junk so you can see me actually add it. Now I'm going to add in my, uh, let's add in my album. So I could choose my album right here. I'm going to choose the six figure of Darby mastermind album. That's what I called it. <laughs> and then I'm going to add in another slide. And now this is another title slide now. So I'm going to do, uh, our logo, the Hartley family, uh, then we show the album, then I'm going to do another title and call it wall art. Okay. Wall art. Cool. Now I'm going to, after that, I'm going to show some wall art slides and I get to choose the wall. It already defaulted to the Hartley SFP wall because it's the only wall that I had chosen. But if I had multiple walls, I could put that in there and then I'm going to add another title slide and I'm going to call it. Thank you. Okay, cool. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the uh, da, 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 card slide and I'm going to choose the Ben Hartley thank you. Okay, so there we go. This is going to be the order of the slideshow. I could add in um, some sexy sex music. Uh, so I could do that. Uh, let's see what kind of jams I want to do. Fundy Wedding Song 11. Let's play it. Sure. We're going to go with that one. Okay, good. Enough music. Okay, cool. I could choose the duration of the slide or I could match it to the music. Okay. Um, the music length is six minutes. The total slideshow length is 254 right now. If I match it, we can't match the duration of the slideshow to the music because the music plays is too long. Yeah, it's, it would be too long. I'm just going to keep it at 3.5 seconds. That's fine. And I'll click save. Now, before I press play on this little slideshow to show you guys, I'm actually just going to save us a little time. I'm going to go back to my album. I'm going to delete a bunch of spreads <laughs> just so that way you can see the full progression of the slideshow without having having to watch a 50, uh, a 50 spread, a 50 page, um, album take place. So I'm just going to start deleting some spreads here. Delete, 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 delete. You know what? I'm just going to clear the album <laughs> and make it, I'll just drag in. Oh, these are, that's okay. No, I don't for consistency. Uh, okay. I'm just going to drag in. I'll make it like a two spread album so you guys can see. I'm just going to drag in some random things. Okay, cool. Two spread album. That's good. Okay, now slideshow. Are you guys ready? I'm going to click play slideshow. This is going to start with my logo. Press spacebar to continue. <clears throat> it's going to go to that title that I assigned it in the slideshow. It's going to start to do the album slides. There'll only be two because I deleted everything else. I'm not saying these are good. I just threw it together. Then we're going to get another title sequence here. Oh, you know what? I didn't change the font color. It's going to go to the album. Here, let me do an escape real quick. When I go to slideshow and create, one of the issues is the background's black and my type was black. So I need to make my typeface white. Uh, on that for the for this next one I'm just gonna delete that one and delete that it's gonna go right into wall art so I'm gonna click play again sorry I forgot to assign my my font color black on black doesn't look like anything okay space bar to start it it's now gonna skip the album it's gonna go right to wall art because I deleted those two things and I could have titled that the Hartley family wall art. I could have titled it anything, right? It's now going to go to the thank you. It's a great way to showcase your imagery, you guys. Okay. Cool. So that is um, some of the, the real kind of basic intro to albums, to wall art, uh, to, to cards. Uh, as well. Um, and then the, you know, realistically what I would do is if I was meeting with a client, um, I would have set all this up. I would have had the client come in. I'd show them a great slideshow. We, after the slideshow, we'd walk through the album and we'd narrow that down. Uh, we would choose the images for their wall art and make that choice as simple as possible. We would choose maybe some thank you cards or, or maybe they'd be invitations, uh, to, to something, to an event, uh, baby shower, 
baby shower. Maybe it's invitations to a birthday. Who knows what it is? Maybe the thank you cards for the wedding. Um, and then, and then we would be able to order that right here. Now, as far as exporting out this stuff, if you click this button here, this is where you can order directly from the lab. You can export it out to your computer. Uh, for print. You could export it online to fund these online proofers that the client could go online, log in, and they could uh, proof it um, uh, themselves and approve it uh, themselves. Those are the main ones uh, that we do. And then as I was just talking about with like adding all this stuff up, you know, you, you're sitting down with a client and they're adding on pages. Let's say they're like, oh, you know what? I really want to add in this page. And, and then I want to add in uh, you know, another set of pages as they're doing that. If you go up to this client orders, this is uh, edit client product pricing. If you click on this button, this is where it is going to allow you to go in here and actually begin to like assign price points for, for all of these different products. So this is the place to go in and to say, Hey, when, I, when we add on a spread, I want that to charge the client. $150 a spread, $200 a spread. Or if you add on per image, every time they add an image into the album, I want it to uh, to essentially invoice them an additional uh, $50 per image, whatever that is. So that's how you would do that is just right there on client orders. So I hope that was clear for everybody. These are some of the, uh, the tools that we would be using to design amazing products and artwork for couples. Uh, both albums, wall art, and uh, thank you cards, invitation, graduation, all that kind of stuff uh, right here inside of Fundy Software. What I want to do next is I want to show you guys some of the marketing materials or the ways that we use Fundy for marketing materials. So that's going to be happening uh, right here in this next video. Thank you guys for watching. Hey, you guys, um, I'm going to uh, pop in and see what kind of comments you guys have right now before I get into the marketing materials inside of Fundy. And so first off, Nada is saying she loves Fundy. I love Fundy, too. It's awesome. Uh, OK, hold on. Let me scroll back up here to the top. Uh, yeah, Hannah, thanks. I appreciate that you like you like the plant. Thank you. Appreciate you. Um, Jonathan said, this is just the video I needed. Perfect, man. That's awesome. I'm glad that, uh, that this was helpful for you. Um, yeah, album stomp currently, but I'm over it. I would be over it too, Sarah. <laughs> Kelsey, thank you. I decided I would just level it up. You know, I was like, well, I guess I'm going to, I'm here. I'm stuck at home. I'm going to start making this look good. Hey, Devin, good to see you, man. Uh, yeah. D says use smart slides. That's cool too. That's fine. Um, okay. Maddie says, what is pro enhancements? I subscribe to it. I clearly need to. So pro enhancements is going to give you all the skin retouching pro enhancements gives you those design libraries that I went over. So when you click on the design library button, uh, that's, what's going to open up all those other options, uh, for things. Um, pro enhancements also is going to give you a proofer as well. I do believe, hold on, Don't quote me on these things. I don't work for fundies. So, so I don't know all the ins and outs of the pricing stuff, but don't quote me. Sarah is, is saying her mind is completely blown. A uh, clearly news. <laughs> she needs this in her life. She says, I need this in my life. That's awesome. Uh, Nada's saying, I love Fundy. Awesome. Lexi says, thank you for all the tips, Ben. Super helpful. Of course, Lexi. Lexi came out to Abundance Workshop just recently. Okay. So what I want to do is I'm going to go back into Fundy Software, but now I'm going to go back in with my portfolio and I'm going to start to show you guys how you can use Fundy Software for some internal documents, for marketing materials, uh, for welcome guides, for my process promise product guide, for, um, if you want to create assets, uh, maybe for, for selling various products, that kind of stuff. So that's what we're going to do right now. Next, um, Lexi says, question, is there a way to adjust the size of the exported files? I recently have a problem when they export very small and print grainy. Lexi, I've never experienced that. I don't know. So Fundy actually, not only do they, so so they're going to export for whatever you designed it as. So if you design an eight by eight album, then you export it to your computer, but then you go and you order a 12 by 12 album, that's going to provide issues. So you need to design whatever it is that you are going to order exactly as you order it. So if you're going to design, let's say a 24 by 36 canvas, make sure that you design and fundy a 24 by 36 canvas and it will 
may, it'll, it will size that appropriately for exactly those dimensions. Not only that, but if it's under res, let's say you import a lower res image or something and you want to print a really large image, Fundy has, I don't know the exact verbiage for this or technology, but like a scaling up algorithm that it can use if you're bringing in low res imagery. So you really just need to make sure that you're designing it properly inside of Fundy is my guess, or using um, um, properly resolution, pro properly resolution images, high res uh, 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 files as well. So Lexi, if you need further question on that, I'd ask support uh, as well. Yeah, Maddie says you weren't using it to its full potential. I hear that. I hear that all the time. Okay, you guys, I'm going to hop back into screen share and I'm now going to take a look at the marketing material options inside of Fundy. We're going to take a look at designing um, a studio magazine. Uh, we're going to take a look at designing maybe like a marketing card as well. So back into, uh, into Fundy we go. All right. So I'm going to go back now to an album, but uh, this time, instead of creating a new album, I'm going to create what Fundy calls a studio magazine. All right. So here on the studio magazine, I'm going to select Miller's as the place I would order my magazine and I'll click next. I'll choose the magazine option next. And then at this point, uh, I'm going to start with a, a, a I'll, I'll choose one to start with. So maybe I'm a boudoir photographer and I'm doing a boudoir magazine, a newborn magazine, generic. Well, I'm a wedding photographer, so I'll go ahead and I'll start with a wedding magazine. I'll click next and we'll give this a title. So I'm going to title it for our studio style and story story. Promise, process, I can't spell. Process, product, guide, it's internal talk. And I'm gonna create the album. Now, as soon as I do this, it's going to populate a pre-designed template of all of these materials, all these resources, right? So if I if I go into this and I click on it, we got weddings, then we have like this kind of about us and contents and, and that kind of stuff. Now, so this is great. This gives us all types of stuff to get into pricing options, that kind of stuff. Now, I went ahead and I've built out my own template for this. Uh, I, I've very intentional, again, he calls them studio magazines. I call it my promise process product. I have a very intentional system that I use for high ticket sales. Again, when we're booking $14,000, $10,000 clients consistently, um, I have, I have a, every single spread has a, has a clear intention. And so um, I've gone ahead and I've designed that and I have it brought in as a, as a design set, as a layout. So I'm going to click here on layouts and under design sets, I've got my promise process product guide. And, uh, right here, it's going to start with, uh, you know, Oh, actually let's go and filter now. Yeah. I get to see my portfolio work. So I'm going to, I'm going to click down here to custom and I'm only going to view my portfolio. So maybe I'm going to have an image like that. And, uh, maybe I will, uh, have my logo in there. Let me see if I, I don't know if I brought in my logo. Do I have my style and story? Watch mark. You know, I'm not sure if I do have my style and story mark in here or not. That's okay. I'm looking down here in these, uh, PNG assets to see if I did. Looks like I don't. That's fine. Um, but now I'll get to the next page and I'm just going to go ahead and click on layouts. Once again, my design set. Uh, it's going to be my promise process product guide. And so I'm going to select that here, right? So maybe it's uh, my brand name, prom my brand name. So like the, I'll go all caps, the style and story promise. Oops, promise is already down there. Cool. So the style and story promise, boom, just like that. I'll click on my images and maybe I'll have an image there and I could add in my featured in logos, but I don't have any of that. Uh, so this is another kind of defaulted option, but I'm going to keep choosing mine. So maybe for this one, I'm going to do something like this, right? Stylish, real colorful. And I can change these words to be whatever words you'd want to use. Okay. And um, so I could go all the way through this. Maybe when we get to pricing, I'm going to use my pricing options. I'm going to go to layouts for pricing and I'm going to come down here. This is my version, just kind of a little bit more minimal, clean. And I've got my anchors here. These are kind of defaulted prices, but I could go into this and I could choose, hey, maybe my most popular option has 
uh, maybe my most popular option that is 12 hours or something and it has doesn't have high res files and you can get in there and customize all this stuff so all that's customizable maybe you have a uh an album section right so this is one of fundy's options for albums again i could click in here and i could go to magazines and i could choose other wedding magazine options um but in terms of wedding albums i'm going to go to my option for wedding albums and so maybe we'll do something like this wedding albums uh and i don't have pictures of albums already loaded into fundy but this is probably where i load in photographs of my albums since i don't have that i'll just put in some some cool some cool photographs <laughs> we'll just drop in some super dope pics cool that'll work Sweet. So essentially what we're getting at here is you've got a full option here to create your own wedding magazine, like like everything that you would need uh, to really showcase your work, showcase what you're up to. And you can move things around. I could drag this and I could change the order of it. You could take part of, you know, again, if, if you're part of uh, my abundance community, you'd get the Promise Process product guide. Maybe you take two spreads of the Promise Process product guide, and then maybe you do a couple other options from other designs that you like. But this is super wild to be able to just have copywriting right there at your fingertips uh, for how to communicate what you do, dropping in. And even for me, like I, um, I have some stuff set up so it'll automatically make this black and white and kind of like burn it back. So even this bright picture right here of like this bride, it's all white and it's, and it's super bright. If I drag it into here, uh, it's going to, um, like knock, uh, knock it back a little bit in terms of, let's see here I'll drag that there we go so i've got this layer over top of it it's going to kind of push it back anyhow it's kind of fun uh that it's going to do all that stuff automatically for you so okay so this would be maybe like an example of a studio magazine now uh the next thing you could do is let's go to cards so let's create a new card but maybe this card is going to be a, sure a five by seven horizontal that's fine but we're going to call this albums we're gonna call this like an album card maybe this is gonna be a, a resource a little document uh, that's gonna help us sell albums so I'm gonna click on filter and I'm gonna click on marketing cards so here's like a card for like graduation pricing right here there's the front of it and here's the back of it that's gonna to help to like show some pricing I can just drag and drop in some images could throw an image in there boom pricing guide for seniors it's a little five by seven but i could also again go into layouts i could choose to view the design library and inside of cards i'm going to go over here to marketing cards and now instead of just those two default ones that come with fundy i now have all of these options of all of these different things maybe this is to sell family wall art this is known for family wall art this is a family uh, gift certificate that's kind of cool let's click on that so now i'm going to create a gift certificate right inside of fundy it says it's installed perfect so i'm going to filter designs based off of marketing cards and now you're going to see the filtered gift certificate as an option and so I'm gonna move that image to be like that. So boom, your studio, we could change that to be our studio name. Um, and then we'll go to the back of the card. And on the back of the card just has some other uh, imagery we could put in. Maybe we'll put in something a little brighter. We'll kind of throw in that photograph and, and this photograph. Uh, cool, that's fine, sure, why not? Maybe we don't, maybe we don't like both photographs for it maybe we just want kind of two uh so we could uh, delete just one and we could just kind of pull her up like that something like that maybe that's hypothetically how we would do that um but this is crazy because now we can design magazines we could design brochures we could design gift certificates we could design um our own thank you cards to our couples we could design like uh, again, one of the big things that we do at Style and Story is we have a welcome guide. And so inside that welcome guide is going to be information on like how to order prints. It's going to be information on the album design process and the various upgrades they could do there. It's going to be a document 
on um, the best tips for engagement sessions, but I could be designing all of that right here inside of Fundy Software. So you guys, that's a that's a kind of a quick little run through of some of the really awesome stuff that you could do inside of Fundy. Again, we'll go back to our um, Promise Process product guide right here. And let's say that, uh, I'm just gonna show you this one more time. We're gonna go in here, we'll choose layouts. I could choose to go into magazines and I already have all of these awesome options. Let's go to a senior magazine. This is gonna be a start to finish senior magazine, what it would look like, right? Just like that. Like there's some really cool kind of design elements here, okay? Maybe I go back into layouts and I don't see a magazine that I like, so I click on design library. And I go to albums and magazines and I choose to go down here just to studio magazines. And I could load in another one of these, commercial magazines, boudoir magazines, etc. And then if you get really obsessed with this stuff, you can create your own. And so now I've got my own magazine with the Promise Process product guide, which is what you're gonna be seeing all through here. It's a little bit longer. There's, there's some real intentionality behind it. Uh, but this is gonna be my own that I've imported. Uh, and then when I go and I work with photographers, I can give them this document that they can just load right into Fundy and they now have my verbiage, uh, my sales process essentially right at their fingertips. It's awesome, absolutely awesome. All right, you guys, so uh, thank you again for hanging with me on this kind of crash course intro to Fundy software, both what you can do with uh, your, um, with your sales side of things, with albums, with wall art, with uh, cards, with slideshows, but then also what you can do from a marketing standpoint with studio magazines and with kind of uh, product cards, product guides, welcome cards. It's just, it's, you can just make it all up. Now, here's the other really cool thing I want you guys to know is these magazines that you make, you don't have to order it from Millers. You don't have to order it from, you, essentially you don't have to print it. I can actually export that out as a PDF, okay? Same thing with these marketing cards. I could actually export that as a digital file and maybe it's part of an email that I send over or maybe that, that PDF becomes something that I email to the client or I pull up on my screen and I screen share and I show it to them over a Zoom call. And so uh, even though I'm designing it as Millers as my lab that I would print a physical copy for, um, if you could also have it as a digital asset to share, walk people through just as a PDF uh, and as a really powerful tool, uh, again, just to be able to have that at your fingertips. So you guys, thank you for hanging out with me today. Uh, Lexi, uh, let's see here. Chablis says, <laughs> Chablis says, looks like I'll be upgrading the pro enhancements. That's awesome. Lexi says this, the promise process product guide layout is the absolute best. It's been the key to me booking my most recent weddings at a higher price than I would have previously charged and a higher price than the couples even budgeted budgeted can't sell without this anymore. Lexi, that is awesome. Thank you for that great testimonial. Lexi came out to the abundance workshop where I taught her all about, uh, how to use the promise process product guide, uh, for high ticket sales. So Lexi, it's so cool. Thank you so much. All right, you guys, thank you for, for watching today's, uh, today's kind of a uh, walkthrough on this. Um, uh, and I will see you in the next video. Bye everybody.